In this video I will show you how I pollinate the flowers on my durian trees. It's a critical process that durian farmers have to do in late December and early January every year. The primary pollinators of durian flowers are bats, followed by moths, bees and beetles. Where I live, local farmers told me that fruit bats are rare and therefore I'd have to pollinate the flowers myself. It's a well-known fact that commercial growers have an army of staff to undertake hand pollination using a soft broom or a floor sweeper. Successful pollination directly impacts the fruit yield and quality. Okay, so here's an example where I help pollinate the durian flower. Give it a light sweep. You can't really see that, but there's droplets of nectar dripping to the ground. This is one from last night. See they fall to the ground. Every night, come out here. It has to be done at night time because the flowers open up. Durian flowers bloom from dusk to midnight. Um, my wife and I run a small business in the city and after the staff go home I'll finish feeding my daughter and put her to bed and then I'll typically head out to the land about 8 or 9 p.m. to pollinate the flowers. I just really enjoy how peaceful it is to be alone and just to be in nature. I often reflect on you know, what a lucky life I have here in Thailand. At night time I'm always mindful of snakes and that's glad to have the dogs around you know, when I'm pollinating the flowers. Luckily they know a thing or two about snakes. For my own safety, I always have them with me when I'm there alone and I always wear this ridiculous looking outfit because it has gum boots and thick rubber and it could save my life if I'm bitten by a snake. This is a very nice website created by Francis Chung. It's mentioned that durian pollen is released mainly in clumps and that it's not distributed by wind. Moths may be involved in pollen transfer, no mention of beetles or the 1960s rock band. If more pollen lands on the stigmatic surface, the fruit set will increase. In the context of durian pollination, the stigmatic surface refers to the part of the female reproductive organ, i.e. the stigma, of the durian flower that receives pollen during pollination. There's a couple of research studies on this website, and this one dated 1998 states that manually assisted cross-pollination results in a higher fruit set of 31% in contrast to less than 10% by self-pollination, producing higher yields and better quality fruit. Can you see in this clip the liquid dripping when I'm manually pollinating the flowers? It's mostly nectar and stigmatic fluid, but it can also be dew or condensation in humid climates. The fragrance is incredible. It's hard to describe, but it kind of smells like honey, fermented sugar, blossom flower, and sort of like a musky aroma all mixed together. Usually during the day, I'll climb the ladders and pull the heads off all the flowers. This is a really important step to do, otherwise the actual durian will not grow properly and they will not look perfect in shape when they grow larger. Going to pull off the head of the flower. See that? See how that comes off? That just, you pull that off and then the durian will grow right here. So this morning, Woken up, I've turned up on the pump, which will go on for about 45 minutes. Um, you can see you can hear the pump now. You can see the sprinkler system. I'm up the ladder. I thought I'd just show you. This is an example of flowers being pollinated. Um, I pulled off the cap top of the flower. This is just a little baby durian forming now um, on the stem. See how small that is? And it's just going to get bigger and bigger. We keep spraying and keep watering. When the rainy season is finished in November or December, the durian trees need watering. I generally turn on the sprinklers every two days for about 45 minutes duration. We are lucky enough to have free water source from the community pond across the road. The watering of the durian trees is critical during the key growth and reproductive stages, for example when the flowers are pollinating. I will do another durian video next month on how to tie string around mature durian fruits. Thanks for watching.